I'm going to describe an interactive simulation that calculates the adiabatic flame temperature. It does this for five hydrocarbons. The simulation allows you to change percent of excess air, so the simulation only uses air as a feed, not oxygen. And you can change the temperature of the fuel, the hydrocarbon, and the temperature of the air that enters. And then it calculates the outlet temperature and the composition moles of the products and the unreacted nitrogen. So let's look at the simulation. It's located at the link given here in blue. So here's the simulation. We can pick methane, ethane, for example. We can change the excess air, and you'll notice, of course, excess air, the temperature goes down as we have oxygen and additional nitrogen we have to heat up. We can change the temperature of the fuel coming in. That raises the outlet temperature, of course. And we can change the temperature of the air coming in. When lowering it, it lowers the outlet temperature. The simulation has the equations that are used to generate the adiabatic temperature. We have to keep in mind that as this temperature gets high, for example, at low excess air, as this temperature starts getting above around, say, 2000 C, then our accuracy of, of this calculation decreases because we're not taking into account the fact there are additional reactions that take place at the higher temperature. The dissociation reactions form oxygen, hydrogen, at CO, for example, by dissociating water. These are in the thermic that's going to affect the actual outlet temperature.